Welcome to episode number 30 of the best laptop setups. I know it's been a while since I've done one. I am very sorry, but we're bringing them back. And going forward, we're gonna allow any desk setup. So regardless if you have a laptop or a desktop computer, I wanna see it. So make sure to send it in. The idea is to always get great ideas. But first, a huge shout out to Mafruki from last episode. You're going home with a $100 Amazon gift certificate. And of course, today's winner will also get a hundred bucks as well. Now the first setup comes from, I don't know who, he didn't provide his name, he didn't provide his country, what he does or anything like that. For all I know, this guy could be working for the CIA. But his nickname is Mr. Tofu, probably a vegan, and he has a pretty clean, good looking setup. There's nothing special or crazy going on here, but everything is nicely in order. He's rocking a Surface Laptop Go on the right hand side and he has it mounted on a laptop stand. And then the monitor of choice is an Acer 75 Hertz monitor. Not sure which model number, but it is 75 Hertz. And then on the left hand side, he has this Meano mic, which is attached to a boom pole clamped to the back of his desk. I do like the brown leather pad going across his desk. It gives the desk a little bit of color just because it's a black desk, so it gives it two tones. And then on top, he has a Quintus light bar, which gives a nice soft reflection off that mat to give his overall setup an actual glow. The only thing I don't like is the placement of his Xbox. I feel because he has a lot of space under the monitor, he could have just placed it there vertically, and that would, you know, kind of hide the cables a little bit because they are still sticking out on the bottom. And the other thing I'd probably change is I'd probably mount the laptop to be eye level with the monitors. You don't have to consistently look up and down every time you're looking between both displays. Setup number two comes from Enzo. He says, Mabuhe Matthew. He's a 19 year old graphic designer and a second year multimedia arts student from the Philippines. I'm telling you, the Philippines or the Filipinos rather, have some of the best desk setups in my series so far. He's been a long time subscriber and he submitted his laptop desk setup, which also has a desktop computer on it. And I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Like this is a really clean setup and the accessories that he's chosen do provide some brown to the entire theme, which I think just looks super classy. For his desk, he has a custom 50 by 24 table, which was designed by his father, who's a local carpenter, I love this. He has an OFX F16 Pro high back ergonomic chair that he sits on. The laptop at the back is a 2020 13 inch MacBook Air M1. This is his daily driver for editing and Photoshop. The monitor of choice is a Samsung 24 inch IPS monitor, and he added a white vinyl sticker on the bezel to hide the brand and color. This is awesome, I love this. Don't give these brands free advertising. And number two, putting the little sticker on it just blends in with your setup a little bit more. He has an Akko ACR64, that's his keyboard with milky yellows and a transparent keycaps. He has a first gen AirPods Pro, Logitech Pebble Mouse, Basius Youth, LED screen bar right at the top. I love how the brown of that matches the brown wrist rest when he's typing with the little brown character to the left hand side. And then he has a custom built micro ATX PC. Now he says he rarely uses this PC because his workload focuses on graphic design and light motion graphics. So he mostly uses his MacBook, but he does use his PC for solely 3D modeling and obviously gaming. Other things on the desk include a Nintendo DS Lite, six in one wireless charger, white monitor bracket, he has a couple of LED strips, custom print mouse pad from Shopee, a wooden keyboard rest, 3D printed MacBook Air stand from Shopee, and then he has an Ikea Satis wall pegboard. This is a good way to keep other stuff off the desk, but organized on your wall, and it also gives a nice look to the entire theme. And finally, he has a red velvet Quindum album. Yes, he says he's an avid K-pop fan. Overall, Enzo, I absolutely love the look of your setup. Setup number three comes from Hadid. I don't know where he's from, but he says he loves my content. He's been following me for a while and he's a professional and an academic. He did upgrade his setup not too long ago to keep himself a bit more organized. Now he does have a really good looking setup with the lights off. But the problem is he did not submit me pictures with the lights on. And usually when somebody doesn't send pictures with the lights on, it probably doesn't look that good in the daylight. Now granted, with the lights off, I think everything looks nice and classy. He has lights to the right hand side that's wrapped in this weird basket thing, which gives it a warm glow. His wallpaper looks to be like a brownish orange. Then he has these lights panning off the back of it to give this like warm glow along with the wallpaper on the monitor. But I feel like as soon as you turn the lights on, 
It could be a horror movie, I don't know. But the stuff he has on his desk is actually really good. He's rocking a 2022 Acer Predator Helios 300 with an i7, 12700H and an RTX 3060. He has a nice long mat, which is from Steel Series. It's the Quick Prism Cloth XL. And then he has also a Steel Series Aerox 3 wireless mouse. Now his keyboard is the Red Dragon K599 Keymos wireless keyboard with double shot PBT putting keycaps from Red Dragon. So it's a mechanical keyboard. He also has HyperX Cloud 2 headphones. He has an Xbox Series X 20th anniversary controller. His speakers are from Edifier, they're the XM06 BTs. And he has about five different drives in total that he uses. Now on top of all this, on top of his monitor rather, he does have a Xiaomi light bar and his monitor is from HP, which happens to be 1080p, that runs at 75 hertz and his laptop screen is also 1080p to match it. Now this setup I absolutely love. Not only is it clean, it's organized. There's a lot of customization to match his personality. He has some nice natural light coming in from the window on the right hand side. He has a white desk that's paired up with a nice pastel purple paint color, which feels very warm, but also inviting. And just the way he matched everything just makes this space like a pleasure to work on. There's tons of stuff going on here. Like his laptop is the Asus Zephyrus M16. This is the 2022 model with an RTX 3060, but then he also has it connected to an Acer ultra wide monitor that's 34 inches, 1440p at 144 Hertz. Now he has been watching my channel for quite some time. He says his name is Atif and he's from Malaysia, but he loves gaming. He's in computer science, so he does a lot of development, but he's also into photography. He's been working on this desk setup since 2015. And I think he's done a very good job. His desk are all from Ikea, they're Lindman tables, but he also has some Alex drawers and he put them in an L shape so that he has a space to the right hand side with no computers or electronics on it so that he can write or do any sort of focusing. He does have a Razer Siren Mini on a cheap arm, that says microphone. He has a Logitech C310 webcam above that Acer monitor. He has a bunch of little knickknacks like the Ferrari F40 and 430 Scudera model cars sitting on his display riser. And then he has a fake leather desk mat for his peripherals. There is a Razer Basilisk X Hyperspeed for his mouse. And then he has an Ant Pro 2 with third party keycaps for his keyboard. Obviously a nice looking mechanical keyboard. He has a Spigot 120 watt GAN charger, which is very good if he doesn't want to take his big chunky brick to school. He can just carry that charger instead and, and obviously keep his laptop fully charged. There's a Lego Porsche 963, which obviously took him a while to put together. And then he has his Nintendo Switch OLED sitting in a perfect position on the left hand side. Now I'm a big fan of that 8-bit do ultimate controller. I personally use one myself and I can only say good things about it. Now this setup comes from Ian Santos. He too is from the Philippines and this is his personalized workspace that he's very excited to show us. Now he does have a limited amount of space, which obviously means he has a very tiny desk. He's also working for a company called BPO and uh, he has not a lot of space to work with. But personally, I think he did a fantastic job. Like for a very small desk, he's managed to make everything work for him, but also keep everything fairly organized. Now, don't get me wrong, it does feel a little bit cramped, but under the circumstances, he's making it work. His laptop is a Dell Latitude 3520, so nothing special, but he does have it attached to a 24 inch HKC curved monitor. He does have a Bluetooth speaker right below it, which happens to be the Marshall Emberton 2. And then he does have this beautiful, well done Royal Kludge RK96 RGB mechanical keyboard. He does have a Garuda Gearhawk 1 wireless mouse, and then he has a cheap mouse pad that he bought from Shopee, a black mouse pad. Again, I love the two-tone finish. His table is a customized table, which is again on fairly the smaller size. And then he does have an LED desk lamp to give him some light when things are a bit too dark. Now he does have a headset to the left-hand side, which he uses for his job. And he says, mind that headset. I need it there because it's for work. So it's the only big wire that's showing in the video. All right, so that wraps up episode number 30 of the best laptop setups. Thank you guys so much for submitting yours. And again, we are accepting setups that are with laptops or desktops now. So if you've been wanting to send yours in and you don't have a laptop, you can do so. I wanna see the best desk setups possible so that we can all get fantastic ideas. Make sure to follow the instructions down below. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe, like it if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.